Well, I haven't been filming all weekend. We've had the best weekend. I just had to check in. We have had a family of 10 staying with us for a couple days. If you have seen the George Michael Tuesday show and you saw their latest episode, I think it's their latest, you would have seen that a man came and his family and has been helping them for two weeks just because the Lord directed them to do that. So this sweet family also has watched our channel in the past and so they reached out to us about getting together with us on their way back home and it turned into a, a whole weekend of fun that they've been staying here. They parked their camper here at our home and we have had just two days of kids playing and food and fellowship and we just feel like we've known them our whole life and just love them dearly. It's been so wonderful. And um, Tim is very talented carpenter, so he has been helping Jason continue work on the cabin that we're building. Um, it's been such a blessing, such a blessing. So yeah, just, you never know. You should always say yes to opportunities to Mommy, come your way to meet no people. There's no good ones. I'll go find you one. Because um, I'm so glad that we said yes to meeting this sweet family because our lives would just not be quite as rich without knowing them. Look at this. It looks completely different with windows in and these front and back wall. What a blessing to have this amazing family stay with us this weekend. And the carpenter extraordinaire, Tim, <laughs> who's now becoming famous all across YouTube and highly desired. Wow, so tell me what you did yesterday because I never got my camera out. Whoa. What did you guys accomplish? You finished this back wall here. I don't know, he just kept making fun of me. Oh <laughs> uh, no, we uh, we laid we laid out uh, the back walls to figure out where the windows were gonna go and then you know trying out so many different steps down the road making sure we weren't having to redo anything. Um, we decided to frame the holes for the windows, put them in, and then we moved to the front wall, uh, laid out where the, well, we had to pick out the windows, so he was very so patient. So these windows. <laughs> yeah, Tim was very patient when we went, and we're like, okay, let's go window shopping. We did. Yeah, we went window so shopping. <laughs> so didn't spend any money. These windows are part of the lot that we just have had in storage. Um, you know, we accumulated a bunch of windows to use in our big house, and so we've just had them sitting there. So this is perfect. So you did these two in the back. We wanted screens so that we would be able to have this open all the time and not worry about bugs coming in. That's right. Does this one not have a screen? It does not, no. So we have to get one for that. Or live with it. Well, don't say that. That's what we're doing in our so, current house. Right, exactly. <laughs> so I figured, you know, we should at least take care of our current house. Before yeah, it's on the list. It's on the list. Right, right. Well, this is amazing. I don't, and then I don't we'll, know. We've got everything actually marked out to cut the holes for the two side windows on each end. Okay, so, so there'll have, be windows on these sides yes, as well. right. So there'll be one right here and here. And then right here and here. So you can see the markings on the thing. Fantastic. Yes. Hat. We have very, very exciting news. One of our hens hatched babies. All we can tell, we don't, we don't uh, offer her up, so all we can tell So you put this here this morning so they didn't fall out? This one, Mom. Oh, look at it peeping back there so behind So all her. we can tell is five. But then we don't know if there's any. Um, right, on, still underneath. Only baby okay. turkeys. Thank so. <laughs> This we've never had a hen go broody before, but Look Bella noticed hen. a couple weeks ago that that this hen. What's her name? Oh, Addie. What? Addie. Addie. That chicken was so loud I couldn't hear. This is she noticed that chicken. Addie was want, wanting to sit on eggs, and so she put a bunch under her, and sure yeah. enough, so <laughs> she faithfully how? sat on those eggs. Bella put some food and water in there for her, and she has just been a, and this, a very good back, mama. Man. I just put this up right now. Yeah, I was worried about the babies falling because, out because it's a little drop to the she, ground. Um, and they're getting curious. Oh, aren't wanted. they cute? I'm just going to leave them here for oh. probably another day until they all have Right, and then they'll be ready to go. Someone is cow poop. Well, we that is not chicken have, poop. That is cow poop. Yeah, I do smell poop. That is cow poop. That is not chicken We poop. also have um, baby turkeys. I don't know if I told you guys that we found a place, really, really sweet people, um, who are selling turkeys. Selling and so, they're, yep. We had looked into getting turkeys in the spring and they were really hard to come by then. And then we found some that were very expensive. And so we just decided to wait. But we're hoping that we have male and female here. And our goal not then is to let them um, hatch so we can continue the 
the turkey production on our own because it's expensive to just keep buying chicks and if you're trying to have turkeys without spending a lot of money. I hear you being noisy in there. Yeah, so much better than pulling throw. So the work is continuing and this is going to be easy, you say? what I do is I pull up on my bar. Yep. Can I do that? This is, I think so. There's a fair amount of lean. It's leaning, tree. so you're just gonna go with the lean. Go with the lean. Drop it. Let it fall. And then yep. we have a crew of friends coming to Clean help. It up. Uh, Cut it apart. The fun part, cleaning it up. The fun part is cutting cleaning it up. Cleaning it up is the fun part. But we have that walnut tree that needs to come down. Yeah, we have so many trees tree, that need to come down. But let's just talk about those beautiful flowers that just came on their own out of the blue. They don't need so pretty. This is the crew that's going to watch. We're going to cheer you on. Should we go cheer them on from our seat? Yeah. yeah. to help cut up these trees and do some more work. It's just a busy day, so we have lots of friends. We had some yummy food. Did you eat? Did, Did you I eat? eat? Yeah. No. There's so much yummy food I in the house. Chips. They are hard at work already. What are you guys playing? Wow, you're having some fun with dirt. Yeah, we're having fun with dirt. Oh my, my. So they finished the first big project and they're moving on to project number two. So this is the location that eventually we'll be having our big house here. And so since we have men with chainsaws here, they just decided to go ahead and take some of these trees back that will eventually be in the way. It just seemed like the day to do it. Willing helpers. The only friend Joe is back again. Robbie's using the axe. We have gone back in time to primitive days. So this is what happened. This is where that huge tree was, the first one they took down. We got it all into this, and then our friend Craig has a, a mulcher, so I think they're going to turn all of that into wood mulch. Not the big logs, of course, but all the brush, they're going to turn into mulch that we can use in our garden on a different day. We've got enough projects going on today. Look at this amazing crew. I believe there were so many trees piled up right there. It looks incredible. We have the best friends. <laughs> 